This is actually going to set us back. This is not what we wanted for our brand new eBay store. For those who are new around here, we have set ourselves a challenge where we try to turn trash into a full lap of Australia. And this week hasn't really gone to plan. We've had our first customer issue on our brand new eBay store. But before we get into that, let's take you guys out thrifting to find the trash to turn into the travel. If you guys hadn't figured out by now, we like going to Savers. It's close to the warehouse, we've got 20% off when we donate, and we usually find something. So let's see what we can find to flip for trash to travel. So I think we have like $750 to spend in the account. Ooh. So hopefully we find some stuff in here because uh, we've only got like six items listed in the store at the moment. But we don't want to spend too much because that's chipping into the kitty. It's very true. I'll never browse first because what if I want to use my 20% off of the whole bunch of stuff instead of one item? I am tempted, they're nice. Pair of Allegra's. Allegria? Allegra? They're, um, they're nice, but they're 18 bucks. I'm torn. It might be worth it. I thought I was on such a roll with the rollies, but look. They're broken! What do you found there? It's like an old school Catman do, women's size 16, Gore-Tex, but it's 20 bucks. It's it's probably worth it. I think that's worth it. Thank you for shopping with us. So I think one of the biggest hacks or game changers to this whole buying things and reselling is showing a bit of restraint when you're in the thrift store. Now we easily could have grabbed those Ira Williams and got them for like 80 bucks I think it was or 70 bucks with discount but they did have some damage to them which means they're probably going to sit a bit longer and especially for this experiment that we're doing or this challenge that we're doing that doesn't really fit our metrics so I think a lot of the time you hear people say oh if only this or if only that and they still it would grab be them. worth so much yeah but it's not if yeah. it's damaged it's not that awesome thing that you want to get if they were in good condition it could have been a $400 pair of pre-owned boots mm. But they weren't in that good condition and I think we fall into the trap of saying, oh, it's so close to being so good that I'll yeah. still grab it, but it ain't. Sometimes good enough isn't good enough. That's so it. They were nice. Someone else will really enjoy them, but not really what we're looking for for this challenge. We're looking for really good quality items that are searchable, which those are, but they weren't in good condition. So and it's okay to pay up if you're certain that you're going to make a certain margin yeah. in a certain amount of time but you gotta check things over. Yeah, just think about it a couple times before you make those expensive, expensive Friendship. purchases. Let's do it again. Savers stop two. What do you think? Better luck here? Yeah, I think so. I'm feeling it. These metals are in too bad a condition. They need to clean, but 12.49, it's probably a grab. It looks like you found some stuff. Let's do a little show and tell for you. Sass and Bide, 100% silk. Hello. What do you think of a sports craft blazer in a dusk pink? What material is it? Nothing special. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, this is just like a modern Levi's Big E. Oh yeah. So, I don't know, mid. Could take it, could leave it. This marmot is goose down, which is lovely. And I've got a beautiful size 24 Liberty print. Hello. Friday afternoon and it's 38 degrees. So I think no one else is going to be at Savers and we're going to get wicked bargains for trash to travel. What's that? Meryl, my favorite, my second favorite. These would cost us $19, but do you think they've been worn? Oh, they look pretty new. What do you got there? The bling. <laughs> Juicy couture. Juicy. Black velvet bedazzled goodness. I'm happy with 16. So we started this episode with 754.74 in our kitty and we spent a chunk. So we bought that Sportscraft Liberty fabric shirt for $11.83. We bought the Marmot jacket that was goose down for $13.43. The Allegra clogs were $14.79. The Juicy Couture Velour jacket was $13.20. And we got those Merrill sandals that looked like they hadn't even been worn for $19. Which leaves us with $682.49. But then we got a message. 
It was that customer who last week bought the kids Nike TNs. We shipped them off and they've received them. But when they tried to give them a little clean, the yellow was just coming straight off, which it shouldn't do. And I think this is probably because of the heat wave we've been having. I am sweaty. I'm breaking out. Things are melting all over the place. Now, luckily for us, she didn't open a return or leave an, any sort of negative feedback because it would have been quite easy for her to do an item not as described, which definitely would have impacted this brand new account. So for us, we make sure we communicate with these types of buyers very quickly and try and come up with a solution. So in this case, we just decided to give them $30 as a refund because the shoes were still wearable. They just had a few little issues with that paint. And realistically, I think that probably happened in shipping because when I cleaned them up, when I bought them, there was no issues with them. And we have had like four or five days of 38 degrees plus. As you guys can see, we are sweating our asses off in here. So she was pretty happy with that. We ended up doing the $30 refund. We got a few fee credits back, which means we still made a little bit of profit on that item, but we do need to take a few steps back on the travel mat. So obviously this isn't our first return. We have the main account that we've had returns on before. So it's not a really big deal for us. We try not to get emotionally attached to these issues. We just try to make sure that the customer is happy and it doesn't negatively affect our account ongoing. After that little speed bump, we need to actually subtract what we've refunded. So from our 682.49, we're refunding 30 bucks. We do get a little bit back in fees. So the actual amount that we are down is 25.98 leaving us at 656.51. That pretty much means we need to put our road trip in reverse for about 100 kilometers. <laughs> Except that we've made a sale. Got another sale to share with you guys from Tub New Store number one. It is this Sportscraft Liberty fabric shirt that we got at Savers. We picked this one for the challenge because heaps of people search for that Liberty art fabric. So it's a really good keyword and it's a size 24, which I think is the only size 24 that was even on eBay. So I knew that someone was going to snap this up. It listed it for $69.95, but I accepted 50. We went back and forth with a few offers, but to buy it on Tuesday, list it on Wednesday and sell it on Thursday. I'll take 50 bucks, cash flow is king. So the Sportscraft Liberty print shirt sold for $50 plus post. We paid 833 fees and at the end of it all, we've got 698.18, which still means that we need to go back about 68 kilometers after our purchases and our refund. So we're about here, which is not the result that we wanted this week for our challenge. But the good news is because of those thrift items, we've got some really cool stuff in store available. And this is the reality of selling on eBay. Two steps forward, maybe a step back. Maybe next week, three steps forward. If you've stuck around to the end, thank you so much for watching guys and we will see you on the next one.